Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to another Ultimate Review. In this episode, I'm going to give you the review of a pair of in-ear monitors from a company called Moondrop. And the model which I'm going to review is called the Moondrop Chew. Yes, that's a funny name and I'm sure many of you would not have heard about this company called Moondrop and the ones that might have heard would be in the category of audiophiles because they make some pretty high quality in-ear monitors. All right, but before we begin, if you do enjoy watching my reviews and like the effort that I put into these reviews, then please consider smashing that like button and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And after watching this review, if you do decide to pick up these in-ear monitors for yourselves, my only request is that you use the link of this product given in the description below to make your purchase. It's never going to cost you anything extra, but you guys will be helping me run this channel and I can produce more such high quality and helpful content just for you guys. Alright, so with that said, let's begin. Alright, so the Moondrop Chew comes in a standard packaging, nothing too fancy, but you do get a glimpse of the in-ear monitors inside and they look pretty. Now in the box, you get some paperwork and it's in some language which I am not going to even try to understand, but I can understand that it must be a warranty card and the manufacturing number of this particular unit. Now one special thing that you get with the Moondrop Chew are the spring tip ear tips. Now, I had never heard of these before, so I did some research and what I found that these ear tips are manufactured in a special way. They're not just your usual run-of-the-mill ear tips. So the spring tip ear tips, what they do is that they try to give you the most accurate rendition of the high frequencies and also try to limit the amount of bass loss that can happen when you use your run-of-the-mill usual silicon ear tips. And apart from that, they also mitigate that stickiness. They try to minimize the amount of stickiness that usually happens with these normal silicon ear tips. So these are the main three purposes that it addresses. And once you use them, you really wouldn't want to go back to any other type of ear tips because they are so comfortable and they really do the job that they are meant for. Now, apart from that, you also get this really nice felt material carry pouch, which is very nice of them to include in which you can carry your in-ear monitors. Now talking about the in-ear monitors themselves. So the moon drop shoes are beautifully designed. Everything about this speaks class and quality. So the moment you put your hands on these, you know that these are premium. There was no compromise anywhere in the manufacturing. Now these are made of zinc alloy, so you get the cold feel of metal, which feels really nice. It's got some weight to it, but nothing that is going to fatigue your wearing experience. Now the Moondrop Chews pack 10mm double cavity dynamic drivers. Now if this becomes too fancy jargon for you, don't worry, when I give you my verdict of the sound quality, I'll do a breakdown and I'll let you know how these truly perform. Now these are wired in your monitors. And I'm guessing the wire is oxygen-free copper, although they don't mention that, but it feels sturdy. They are a bit sticky, which in the long term, I am worried that they might get tangled and might be a bit messy to detangle. But as of now, they feel very high quality and sturdy. Now the Moondrop Chews also has an inline microphone and it also has very tactile and clicky buttons. So you have the volume rockers and you also have a play pause button. Now the inline microphone is of decent quality and I've just recorded a bit on my iPad using the inline microphone. So you can listen to this and this is an example of what your recording quality and your call quality could be like. So have a listen. So this is an example of the voice quality that you can expect if you're recording using the Moondrop Choose internal microphone. And this is also an example of what your call quality will be like. All right, and at the end of the cable, you have a 3.5 millimeter L-shaped audio jack. Now the Moondrop Chews are to be worn over your ears. So you bring the cable over your ear and then place it as you can see right now. And I am not really a fan of wearing earphones like these or ones that have designed like this, but I'm glad to say that these were super comfortable and secure in my ear and they did not have that fatigue of the weight kind of pulling down on my ear. They had the right level of resistance and everything, including the mic placement, was just perfect. All right, so now let's get into the main criteria of whether you're going to buy these or not, and that is the audio quality. Now, if you're an existing viewer, you know I never just say good sound or bad sound. I judge in-ear monitors based on how they produce the three main frequencies that broadly make up any sound that you hear. The highs, the mids, and the lows. Highs, where the really sharp sounding instruments are, mids where the vocals lie 
and the lows are the base, which we all love. Now, first let me say before I give you the breakdown, the overall soundstage of the Moondrop Chew is beautiful. When you use your normal earbuds or in-ear monitors that you've owned in the past, which are not of this level, and then when you shift to this, you'd be surprised as to how wide the sound stage is, how you can really differentiate between the actual distance between the instruments, how beautifully they are separated, and the experience is just very, very pleasing. It's a very rich experience. Okay, so now let's talk about the high frequencies. Now, the first thing you'll notice is that they are so pristine and sharp, and there is absolutely no distortion anywhere, even at maximum volume. Now, because my pair is still new, the only thing I would say is that maybe it'll take some time for these to have their burn-in session for it to sound a bit more mellow. So right now, maybe if you're listening to it for continuously uh, two or three hours, the highs might be a bit unpleasant at the end of that long listening session. But in itself, if you judge the highs, they are so pristine, so sharp, that it's just amazing how good the soundstage is and how beautifully they are separate from the mids and the lows. So absolutely no overlapping between the frequencies. Now let's talk about the mid frequencies. Now vocals were mind-blowingly good. The vocals are, it's as if you can really, if you close your eyes, you can literally feel like the singer up close to the microphone and it's got that beautiful crispness to the voice as well as the warmth that the natural tone of the voice that is there that is beautifully rendered and it is separate from the bass frequency the bass never meddles with the mid frequency and the vocals absolutely maintains its separate track and it sounds so rich and natural so the mid frequencies of the vocals are a 10 on 10. now let's come to the bass response or the low end now, you should not go into any in-ear monitor, especially some something that literally falls into an audiophile category, thinking that it's gonna give you a bass head type of bass. Now, that doesn't mean this has weak bass. It's got the capacity to really rock your eardrums with very, very deep rumbling bass. And it even goes to those sub lows, so where it sounds very, very nice and deep, no distortion but in general i did my testing listening to it at the flat equalizer without any sort of tweaking and the bass response is absolutely accurate it's what is there in the track that is exactly what it's going to give you now if you want more bass you can obviously tweak the equalizer and increase the bass response but if you are a purist and like it to sound as natural and as clean and as rich as possible you'd leave it flat and you'll enjoy it just fine. Okay, so the strangest thing about these in-ear monitors, the Moondrop Chew, is that its price is unfairly low. If someone didn't tell me about the price and I heard these earbuds, I reviewed them, and then I was to guess the price, I would definitely say these would be above 7,000 rupees, hands down. But these cost you 2,000 rupees. And if you are getting into that audiophile category, if that is your tight budget, the Moon Drop Chew is a beautiful starting point and it's phenomenally good for its price point. And you need to listen to it to believe it. I mean, I wish I could give you a sound test, but obviously you can't do that with in your monitors over video. But you guys should trust it. If you trust my reviews, then you should definitely check them out. So guys, that was my unbiased and honest review of the Moondrop Chew. Definitely check them out. And if you do want to check them out, like I said, the links to this product are in the description below. I would request you to use those links to check them out and help me run this channel. And as always, if you have enjoyed this video, please smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Stay safe and I'll catch you guys very soon in the next one. Cheers.